three Hindu men have been jailed for life for the rape, torture and murder of an eight-year-old Muslim girl in Indian-administered Kashmir. Here's a summary of the article. Six of eight men accused of the rape, torture and murder of an eight-year-old Muslim girl in Indian-administered Kashmir have been found guilty in a specially convened fast-track court. The minor will be tried separately in accordance with India's Juvenile Act, which is why only seven people were subject to Monday's court verdict. The family chose not to attend the court to listen to the verdict. When delivering its verdict, the court said that the sentences of the six convicts would be announced at 1400 local time. The Kathwa rape and murder was one among many high-profile cases that prompted India to introduce a new law which mandated the death penalty to anyone convicted of raping a child under 12. Investigators at the time said that the child was targeted because the accused men wished to terrorize the tribe known as Gujars into leaving. The sentiment around the case prompted the top court to move the trial out of Jammu and Kashmir to a court in Pathankot in the northern state of Punjab and start the trial afresh. This post received a score of 23,134, with an upvote ratio of 92%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Eight years old, drugged and raped for days. I have no words. Apparently the perpetrators invited relatives from other cities to come over and rape her. That's partially why they kept her alive for some time. Jesus fucking Christ. As a Hindu I think it's safe to say that those men are not welcome to be Hindus anymore. Or men. Or human. That poor girl, it's sickening, but what's worse is that there are even sicker fucks who are actually campaigning for the release of these three absolute pieces of filth. Fun fact, when this happened, the number one searched porn term in India on xvideos.com was Asifa, the girl in the article. And for the Indians at home, I already know what you're going to say, what about Pakistan? That's not fun at all. Horribly fucked up facts. Unsubscribe, unsubscribe me, end subscription, get off fizzle dried. Edit, this was a bad idea. Male bed bugs don't bother with vaginas when mating, they simply stab the female in the abdomen with their penis and ejaculate in her body cavity. Ah, uh, nature is metal, now if you will excuse me. I have to go and throw up over all these unfun facts. Unsubscriber gone a world. Their lawyer says that there are mitigating circumstances. What could mitigate such a crime? Did the child murder and rape members of their families? The circumstances include being the sole breadwinners of their families. I'm speechless. What does that have to do with anything? They should have thought about it before planning the kidnapping, imprisonment, rape and murder of an eight-year-old. They're lower than animals, and this lawyer should have turned down the case. India has the death penalty. He's lucky his clients aren't being strung up. In fact, the fact that they underscore aren't underscore being strung up just proves how pervasive anti-Muslim feeling is in the Hindu nationalist lead government. Not surprising considering Modi's dubious and likely murderous past. I wouldn't call the lawyer lucky. His job is to defend his clients and give them a fair trial. I doubt he supports or cares about them on a personal level. In fact, he may well think they're scum, but he still has to defend them. Thank you. I just finished law school and I'm studying for the bar and one thing a lot of people don't understand is that sometimes you may think your client is a miserable piece of shit, but they deserve a defense and you have to go through the motions to ensure that everyone gets a fair trial. One of my professors was John Wayne Gacy's defense attorney on his appeal, he talked about how he took the case because there were procedural issues in the original case and even though he knew Gacy was guilty AF, he also strongly felt that every defendant is entitled to a proper defense and a fair trial, following the rules, no matter how obvious their guilt is. It's not like public defenders all think that their clients are innocent. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.